Golden Finance 117 is the tallest unoccupied building in China. Also known as the China 117 Tower, the building is located in Tianjin, China. The 128-story skyscraper topped out in September 2015 at 595.5 meters, making it the world's fifth tallest building. The building's owner, Hong Kong-based developer Golden Properties, ran into financial difficulties in the aftermath of the 12th of June 2015 Chinese stock market crash and was forced to suspend work on the structure in December of that same year. The architectural height of Golden Finance 117 is 597 meters, which is also the building's roof height, structural height, and total height, as the building doesn't contain spires, antennas, or parapet. It's a solid 597 meters high skyscraper and is the world's tallest flat roof building. The construction of Golden Finance 117 started on the 18th of August 2008. The building as designed was to be a remarkable piece of engineering, utilizing a complex system of mega columns and trusses to brace the building against strong winds and seismic activity. This system, designed by London-based engineering firm Arup, made it strong enough to meet China's strict skyscraper safety codes while being significantly more slender than these rules usually allow. Location The tower is situated northwest of the intersection of Heitai, South North Street, and Jinjing Expressway. It was developed as the centerpiece of Golden Metropolitan Development, which will feature a high-end residential area, entertainment venues, two international standard polo fields, retail outlets, and green spaces. Besides Golden Finance 117, three other 200-meter-plus towers will be built in the development area. They are a 200-meter sister building of Golden Finance 117 that is situated right behind it, and two twin towers that are both 223 meters. The Design Golden Finance 117 was designed by Hong Kong-based P&T Group, an architecture firm that designed many landmark buildings in Hong Kong, Shanghai, and some Southeast Asian cities. Some notable projects designed by P&T Group include HSBC Building, Custom House, Peace Hotel in Shanghai, Exchange Square, and Jardine House in Hong Kong. In recent years, PNT Group co-designed the iconic Raffles City in Chongqing with Safdi Architects. East China Architectural Design and Research Institute acts as the architect of record for the project. Golden Finance 117 has a long, slender form. The width-to-height ratio is 1 to 9.5. The width is based on the bottom width, not the top width. The tower tapers gradually as it rises. The ground floor size is 4,200 square meters, while the top floor is 2,100 square meters. Mega columns rise along each of the tower's four edges from the bottom to the top. This visually apparent structural component is designed to make the tower more stable, while framing the building's aluminum and silver reflective curtain wall on all four sides of the tower. The tower is topped with a striking, diamond-shaped atrium on the top, which contains an observation deck and a sky bar. Before proceeding with more details about the abandoned building, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video and comment about your opinion and more subjects that you would love us to cover. But why was construction abandoned? The building's owner, Golden Properties, a subsidiary of Golden Financial Holdings, LTD, ran into financial difficulties in the aftermath of June 2015, Chinese stock market crash, and was forced to suspend construction in December 2015. Like something out of a movie. After staving off the worst of the global financial crisis, June 2015 saw China's stock bubble burst, wiping a third off the Shanghai Stock Exchange's value in a month and the market volatility persisted until early 2016. While not a full-blown crisis, the damage was already done. With nothing left in reserves to ride out the turbulent period, Golden's share price on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange plummeted. In 2018, construction work seemed to restart, and hopes began to rise, but the China State Construction Engineering Corporation then left again, taking all of its company signage with it. On the surface, it appears that Golden Finance 117 failed because of a series of unfortunate events and a market that tends to favor state-owned companies. But even when it was put up for sale with a handful of other Golden Metropolitan assets, 
it didn't attract much attention and no attempt was made to resurrect it. In addition to broader economic currents that led to the company's financial woes, many have also questioned the economic viability of this particular development project. The Golden Metropolitan Scheme would have relied on super-rich customers buying into a mixed-use luxury development on the outskirts of a city that, while large and prosperous, has none of the global catch-its of, for example, New York, Hong Kong, or London. As of 2023, the building remains unfinished and unoccupied. China State Construction Engineering Corporation, the contractor of the project, removed all on-site workers and left it unfinished. It is currently certified by Guinness World Records as the world's tallest unoccupied building. The 500 meters ban. In part motivated by high-profile failures of the Golden Finance 117, in April 2020, the Chinese government promulgated new urban planning regulations that effectively banned the construction of new buildings greater than 500 meters in height and heavily restricted construction on anything taller than 250 meters. The regulations were listed in the latest issued new urbanization outline during the 14th Five-Year Plan 2021-25, which vowed to optimize city landscapes and rectify the pursuit of excessive architectural scale direct copying of foreign designs and non-standard buildings. According to the statistics from the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, a U.S. nonprofit organization, China has 2,928 buildings taller than 150 meters, 953 skyscrapers higher than 200 meters, and 102 super high-rise buildings above 300 meters as of now. All three indicators remain number one in the world, China's Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development and the Ministry of Emergency Management said in a statement on October 2021 that skyscrapers higher than 150 meters are not allowed to be built in cities with less than 3 million people, while buildings higher than 250 meters must not be constructed in cities with large populations due to safety concerns. And that means that China's skyscraper boom is officially over.